My name is Catherine Harris and I'm director of the National Opera Studio here in Wandsworth, South London. I help 12 exceptionally gifted opera singers and three or four equally gifted trainee repetiteurs each year make that all-important transition into the hugely demanding world of professional opera. As well as our brilliant team of music, language, drama and movement coaches, I invite world-class directors to come to work with the trainees on scenes and arias. We have a wonderful variety of top directors coming to the studio throughout the year, and we currently have the internationally renowned duo Patrice Collier and Moshe Eliza working with the trainees on their audition arias. I've had you over to them, and they can tell you themselves why they think working with young singers and young pianists at the National Opera Studio is so important. For us, it's interesting to come to a place like here um, to meet young singers. Is uh, first of all to meet other people, and also to to make them encounter a, a, a professional situation. Uh, we we come to work here exactly as we are working in all the rehearsals, so so that they can really face the reality of when there be in a normal professional situation. And uh, so, so I think it's, it's quite interesting for them as well to, to, have, to have this situation, not, not as a school, not as a coaching, but as really a, uh, something where we question them exactly the same way as we do uh, in a normal real school. That does the madness more than yeah. any madness happens. You mm -hmm. see Simple. They brought it down to the, 
to the simplicity and the innocence of the character. And uh, I'd love to know where that would go in, with a few weeks of production, where they would take that, because they brought it back totally down to basics. Um, but it was a really interesting way to just come in on the first day and work around the piano. And not run around the room or go crazy or do anything, to just sing it and find what's actually in the music. And I love that they, they're both very interested in how the conductor would do things and why there are certain markings in the music and what, why the composer chose to do certain things, which was a really nice, because um, that's what we think about all the time, but it's nice that the director can, can understand these things too. Um, uh, but it's very, it's very different uh, working with Giles Habergal. We've had him in all, well, the, the last two weeks, and um, I'm doing a little bit of Figaro as uh, Susanna, and you know he's, he he got us to sort of move around the room and go a certain way. He knew roughly where he wanted us to be and how it would all work. And uh, there were some bits that he tried and didn't work, so we tried something else. And, and his approach, although it was completely different, because he sort of knew what he wanted in a way before we started. Um, it was it was. By the end of the, of the process, which we've got to show our first show tonight, um, the whole thing comes back to the same thing that Patrice and Marshall were saying. It's all down to what the character is saying. So Giles has us going this way, going that way, but it has to be connected to what we're saying, or what we're talking about, or who's talking about us, or talking to us. Um, and it's interesting how they have such different approaches, but they, they get the same results. 